Hello class and welcome to today's lecture on major scales. So if you recall from what we've worked on up to this point, we've looked at a, uh, a couple of different groupings of notes we call tetrachords. And tetrachords can be thought of as being like little Lego blocks that we use to build other things. Uh, the tetrachords that we have so far are the uh, major tetrachord. And with the major tetrachord, uh, remember that the uh, the solfege for that is do, re, mi, fa, or you have another option which is sol, la, ti, do. But with both of these, as you look at the distance or the spacing between pitches and things, we have a relationship of two semitones between do and re, or sol and la and two semitones from re to mi, and then a single semitone at fa. Now with both of these, uh, they do have a pull to the top. And you can see that with this, this single semitone up top, there is a directional pull up with these. Uh, another tetrachord that we've studied so far is our minor tetrachord. And with minor, we use the solfege do, oops, re, me, where it's been lowered, fa. With that one, we have a relationship of two, one, two, because me has been moved this way closer to re, where we lower it. We also have our Spanish major. And with Spanish major, we use sol, le, ti, do. This one's really quite unique in that it has kind of a pull in directions both up and down, meaning le pulls to sol and ti pulls to do. The relationship is 1-3-1, one, one, and there's a really large space between le and ti. And then our final one is, of course, Phrygian. And Phrygian, remember, was sol, le, te, do. And so le and te have both been lowered. And the pole is down to sol in this case. We have a relationship of one, two, and two with the semitones. Now going through all these, the only ones that you need to worry about right now are going to be our major tetrachords because we're going to use them to create a major scale. Now with a major scale, many of you might recall from uh, The Sound of Music and the Do a Deer <laughs> as they're teaching them how to sing. Uh, that's a great song to remind you of all the solfege, right? Um, and they sing that up and down, and that represents a major scale. A major scale goes from one note to its octave, and it connects two major tetrachords by two semitones. So let me just clarify that. In other words, to make a major scale, we'll take a major tetrachord on bottom, built off of Do. So you have Do, Re, Mi, Fa. And then we're going to link it with another major tetrachord. Oops, I should have used a capital there. Now I did. With another major tetrachord, okay, by two semitones. And we'll go Sol, La, T, and Do, looks like I'm running out of room. Do, okay? So there we have these two tetrachords that we've linked together, and we're linking them by two semitones. So this little bridge between is two semitones from Fa to Sol, and our pattern of semitones goes two, two, one, two, and then two, two, one. Now that would sound like this. It would sound like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, 
do. And if you were doing this thinking of two separate tetrachords, you could sing it in two groups of tetrachords. So you'd have do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And so you can hear we have a major tetrachord from do to fa and a major tetrachord from sol to do. Let's look at what this looks like on the staff using real pitch names. So we'll come over here. I've got some staff paper and a little keyboard on there to help us out. And we're going to do this in the key of C because it's a happy key. And so you know on here we have our pitches. Okay. And we're going to build our scale of C major, and we'll do it in treble clef. And we'll start with a C. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a C major tetrachord. Two, two, one. And then we're going to link it with a tetrachord that's two above that top note. So I've got to go plus two here to get to the bottom of my next tetrachord, which would be G. And then I'll go G, A, B, C. And that gives me again two, two, one. So that gives me C major, where I have a C tetrachord, major tetrachord. And I have a G major tetrachord put together. Now some of you might say, I don't really care about the tetrachord <laughs> relationship. And that's fine. All, all of these were, are going to have this do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do relationship. And if you can remember that do to re is always a whole step or two semitones. Re to mi is two semitones. Mi to fa is one. And fa to sol is two, 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 and one. That's fine too. That's another way of doing it. Let's do another one here and just practice creating a, uh, a one in bass clef maybe. So we'll do a major scale. We're going to do this one built off of A flat. Okay. So I'm going to do this with accidentals at this point. I don't want to be using uh, key signatures yet. So A flat is right here. Okay. And we're going to notate our pitches from A flat octave to octave. So we'll go all up all the way up to the top octave of A flat. And we're going to span pitches like here from A flat to A flat. So I'll start from A flat and this one I'm going to build without using tetrachords, but just knowing that my major scale is two two one two 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 one okay and again you can see that if you want to as two tetrachords that have been linked oops two tetrachords that have been linked together by two semitones all right so we're gonna go a flat and we're gonna go up two semitones one two that gives me b flat so I'll need to alter that b flat up to one two that gives me c that's the pitch I've got and then I'm going to go 1. So I did 2, 2, now 1, C to D flat. So this needs to be lowered. D flat, now I'm going to go up two semitones. This is the one that links these two tetrachords. So two, tetra two semitones up gives me E flat. Then E flat to F is two semitones, 1, 2. F to G, 1, 2. And then G to A flat. So these do not need to be altered and we get our A-flat major scale. Okay, if you have any questions on the major scales, go ahead and reach out to either me, Dr. Murdoch, or any of the TAs, and we'd love to help you on your homework. But this should get you ready to go ahead and complete the first set of homework that is on major scales, thinking of them as tetrachords that are linked together. All right. See you later.